guys, this is Jack C99 and today we're back for another brand new video and Hibs are now back in action after an international break and we have our away fixture to Kilmarnock tomorrow. Mick Montgomery's first ever Hibs game as new manager and it's where we see what we're going to expect for Nick Montgomery. Possible lineups, possible what Hibs fans are going to expect on Nick Montgomery's first ever game in charge. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll get right into it. As you know, it is Kilmarnock v Hibernian tomorrow and what can I say, we've got a new manager in the hot seat tomorrow, Nick Montgomery. And what's our lineups going to be, what is going to be expected in the first game for Nick Montgomery a win hopefully or should I say a win another three points to try and push up the league a bit because that's what we're going to want to do this month try and get as many points as possible out of the two fixtures that we've three fixtures we've got this month my mistake I kind of got confused I actually realized that we had three league games instead of two because then with the via play cup it was kind of so yeah, three cinch Premiership eh, fixtures this month that we would be looking to really win. Starting off with Kilmarnock. What can I really say? It's no a place that Hibs really like, especially for fans' point of perspective. Rugby Park, we've not had the best of results at eh, Rugby Park down at Ayrshire lately. Because eh, the last time we were there, it was, uh, I think, um, Remembrance, like the least we forget in that, uh, when it was, you had to do the minute silence and that, that game was probably the worst. This is where it gets exciting with the score predictions. Um, obviously, you're looking at the teams tomorrow, whoever they'll be. I'm going to say Hibs to win probably either 3-0. Possibly more, hoping for a good reputation for the new Hibs manager as well. I'm not quite sure if the away end is a sellout tomorrow, so I'm not entirely sure. Because we don't really take that many fans to come or not really. Um, and it all depends on what the surface is like tomorrow, because plastic pitches in Scottish weather is actually really terrible. Yeah, I'd say either 3 0 Hibs, possibly there might be a Hibs fan, a lot of Hibs fans are actually saying 4-0, possibly 5-0, so I can kind of agree and top with that. I'd say that can possibly happen, especially if you've got your strongest front three that I've suggested, which is Dylan Venti, Johan and Martin Boyle, and Adam Lefondry on late, later on in the second half to try and give more, more mobility and more strength as well as the game progresses because you look say we go like maybe 3-0 up or something like that and you want to bring new subs on in the second half then just progress the game as the minutes go this is where we want to start going up the table now so possibly get a massive three points tomorrow and then a massive three points next weekend against st johnson at home and then it's a cup game as far as I'm led to believe. And then Dundee to close the month off. What I can say right now is just get right behind the manager tomorrow. And just support him. Because he's a manager that I didn't really expect we would get. But it happened. We got Nick Montgomery. And he speaks very strong and very truthfully. And he says it is possible. Uh, Hibernian v St. Johnson uh, next Saturday as I was saying um, and obviously the most important game this weekend that we focus on and all eyes are on is Hibs and Kilmarnock at Rugby Park we win this we should have a possibility of overtaking Kilmarnock and possibly Hearts as well the more points we get out of the fixtures this month the more we reach top six. Right guys, that has been me, Jack C99. 
hope you guys have enjoyed the video and make sure you check out yesterday's video about the appointment of Nick Montgomery which is available to watch now and make sure you like and subscribe because it does help the channel it helps support me as well I'm a hips fan with autism spectrum disorder and um, I will catch you guys in the next one